Hi, today we're going to talk about returning inventory items against a purchase order and purchase order receipt. We're going to walk through how to do that. So first we're going to receive some items. We're going to receive some dual core servers and you can see currently we do not have any on hand. This way we can track the quantity as we move along. We're going to purchase them and uh, deal with returns with, from Cali Engineering and we're going to choose this vendor because we don't have any transactions out there and again we can monitor what happens and what the effects are of what we're about to do. So I have this purchase order set up and it is approved where I'm receiving uh, this particular item five cases and in this particular scenario five uh, cases ten so I'm expecting fifty of these uh, dual core servers and you can see they're quite expensive so I really want to pay attention and uh, we're also going to be tracking serial numbers as we do this so the first thing we're going to do is receive the the goods just receive the shipment and uh, so a lot of times the invoices will come later so I'm going to receive all five cases. So we'll go ahead and do that. And because this is a serial number, and uh, maybe it's a serial number we're creating ourselves, so I'm going to just auto generate our own serial numbers instead of manually keying in 50. And I'll click OK. So now I'm ready to post my receiving. So I'll go ahead and post that. And let's close this window out. I'm going to cancel the posting reports. Let's go back to the item inquiry for a moment and I'm just going to refresh by going uh, forward and backwards and now you can see I have 50 of these dual core servers on hand so I have all 50 set there so that's pretty cool we've got that done and upon inspection of this dual core server I realize that one case is damaged and what I want to do is return that case so I'm going to under my purchasing series choose return transaction entry and under type I have four options I have two that deal with returns and two that deal with inventory if you're returning against a purchase order and purchase order receipt you're going to want to choose return because we are still dealing with an original order and you have a choice return or return with credit meaning that you're receiving a credit memo at the same time in this case I have not received the invoice yet so I'm just gonna have them send me an adjusted invoice so I'm gonna return one whole case and I only want to receive an invoice for four cases so I'll just choose return and I have an RMA number and so I'll key in that RMA number here if you have a return number uh, you could key that in as well and that will um, any other kind of number from your vendor or supplier and that'll work so I'm going to choose my distributor that I purchased this from my or my supplier and now I have the question do I want to replace the inventory goods and I do not and uh, invoice expected for the return goods uh, no I since I'm returning a whole case I only want to get an invoice for the four cases that I did keep so I'll leave both those options blank I'll select my purchase order and I will select the item on the purchase order that I am returning and which receipt that item came from so there is my receipt so I'm only returning one case and now I have to select which serial number I want and uh, one cool thing with GP 2013 which we're using today is that you could multi-select purchase orders so I'm going to insert those five and I will now insert these five so those are the those are the ten that I am returning and I'll click OK and let's go ahead and post now the cool thing is if I had replaced those goods what would have happened is it would have uh, on that PO if it was still open it would have put one case left so that I would know to receive that one case and if the PO had already been closed it would generate a brand new PO so let's come in and look at our inventory quantity again so I'll refresh this we are now down to 40 so we have 40 in stock which would be the four cases and if I pull up my vendor you can see I still do not have any transactions for the vendor so now when I go in to receive that invoice so let's receive against that PO alright so I'll pull in my purchase order number 
and I will pull up my project number. Great. And I'm going to match it to this shipment. Wonderful. So there are only four left on that shipment. And so now I'll post that and it will completely close out this process all together. And now if I refresh my vendor, I only have my um, invoice for the four cases. And I could even go in and do a purchase order document here. Let's just put it in for Cali. And I will include open historical and purchase receipts. And now I can see my original PO, my shipment, my return, and my invoice. And that will completely close out this purchase order. Returns are pretty powerful. Hope this helps.